everyone, welcome to the third part of our makeup tutorial with Dean Nixon. He's from Master Makeup and today he's going to show me how to do a smoky eye. Now as you know, a lot of Asians can't actually pull off a smoky eye, especially me. I look like I've actually been hit in the eye. So Dean's actually going to show me how to do a toned down or a blended version of the smoky eye. I hope that you enjoy this and you get something out of it too. The biggest question that I get asked is how to do a smoky eye. Um, often people that struggle with it and look like they've been socked in the eye um, and it's all dark, it, it's a lot of the time got to do with the colour that you're using. So my first thing is, is that smoky eye don't have to necessarily be black and grey. Um, and I'll show you this version of it. When you say smoky to me, I keep blended. Yeah. Okay. And like any eyeshadow application that I do, it's a matter of just blending the colours together so that they look smoky. Okay. I'm going to do a one colour combination, um, I'm going to get tricky here, and just show you the relevance of, of the blend. Now, I'm going to use a lighter colour, so I think for you, rather than going grey or black, which I think will be in trouble already. Mm -hmm. um, I'll look like my shoe. You will look, yes, yeah, <laughs> you would. And I think too, because we've got the red lip on still as well, um, we don't want to go over the top so that we're fighting against the red lip too, so we just want to complement. So the yeah. first thing is, and this is the trick to your smoky eye blending brush okay um it really comes down to when you're performing these types of eye eye techniques um and you're blending eyeshadows to cut thing it really comes down to the um the the brush that you're using and i think that's for me why i did brushes to start with because i really i really was finding when we were doing master classes with women and they were talking about their smoky eye and they had their eyeshadows is is that i would give them an eyeshadow brush and they would apply and instantly it would fall mm. into place okay. than the with your fingers yeah. or using the applicators um, which won't blend the, the little applicators that you get in the yeah. container yeah. great for convenience will not blend your eyeshadow yeah. okay so the first thing is um, is to get a good eyeshadow brush then the next thing is is to remember dark to light okay so if you want and and with with an Asian eye um, and we were talking about this before it's the darkest point along the lash line, blending up towards the brow um, as the lightest point. For a Caucasian eye, it may be more out towards the contour, blending in towards the eye. So if you want the lightest part of your eye to be in here or in here, don't start there with the darkest colour, okay? Because you've already got too much shadow in there, okay? So the first thing that we do, I'm gonna use, this is my favourite palette that gets a little bit of a run, as you can tell. Um, I'm gonna use this mid-tone sort of colour here. Actually, I'm going to use this one here. It's a little bit cooler in the colour. It'll make the brown of your eyes pop out as well. Okay. A little bit on the brush. Okay. Now, it's really important to control, not have too much already. Then, all I need to do is drop the colour in the darkest point. And if you can see that already, that already looks smoky. Okay. So, if I have too much shadow on my brush, for instance, so, so and I watch women do this all the time, okay? You get too much shadow up onto the eye contour, and what do you do? You go straight back into the eye shadow, you get more and you put more up there as well, okay? If you add there and you're like, oh, too much shadow, get rid of it all onto the palm of your hand or onto your brush or a tissue so that there's none left in the brush, see how it's dropped out, and then blend what you've got up on the eye. And this is sort of like a swirling sort of padding motion. So I do it on this eye, so I drop into the eye, make sure I don't have too much on there, and then I use that shadow, I drag it down through the eyeliner, or the brow line, sorry the lash line, and then I just blend it up. And it's a swirling and dabbing motion. So you don't want to kick your shadow all over the place, you don't want to work it like this, otherwise you'll end up with shadow everywhere. Okay. If you want to make it a little bit darker, what I do is I go back to the starting point and I repeat the process. And so the most important part about any smoky eye, no matter whether it's a black dark smoky eye or it's a nice sort of softer lighter version, um, is, is that you don't lose the shape of the eye. Okay, The eye, dark, 
light. If you put just a slab of colour onto the eye, it will go flat and that's when you look like you've been punched. Yep. Okay? So it's about keeping the natural highlights of the eye working. So that's where the brush works for, for you. Okay? Now, with every eye shape, where you place the shadow will be slightly different. You know, if you have a little bit more, you know, room in the inner corner of your eye, you can take more depth into there. Use the space of your eye. So if you have, you know, more shadow or more space from the lash to the brow, use that space there. And my best way to, to, to talk about this so that, you know, also too, you can, you know, create different shapes and different eyes. Just play around with it, you know, just like I'm doing now. Just, you know, keep, I haven't got any more shadow now because I've got the right depth, but I'm just, you know, letting the shadow follow the natural contours of the eye, you know, keeping that dark to light process happening, um, and then just observing to see whether it's right or not. You know, so if you're looking in the mirror and you're like, yeah, this is working, it's, it's great, it's going in the right thing, then you're in the right place. Look in the mirror and then all of a sudden you're like, mm, pull it back a little bit, you know, and, and do that. And you'll be able to really, really play around with it. Um, what you can do with this as well is just with the liner. Now I would use a pencil liner over a liquid liner here. Um, and just because I want to add the line, and then just with my eyeliner brush, I want to blend that out a little bit. Just to soften off the line. So that then it makes the line look a little bit smokier as well. So you could add a liquid liner into this, but for me it's not smoky then because it's got a line factor to it. And then you just blend. And remember this is one eyeshadow colour. Um, what makes it a little bit more, um, I suppose, light and dark is that you've got the concealer base on the bottom of it. So you can seal your eye out, that's your first eyeshadow colour. Um, and then you can even, you know. From that, if you want to take it a little bit more, you could add a little bit underneath the eye as well. So, you know, if you wanted to, I'm going to just push it, and push my luck here. Um, but just look up for me. This is a little bit of eyeshadow, but just with the eyeliner brush, I take underneath the eye. And that'll open the eye up and just give it a little bit more depth. Okay. Sometimes it's Sometimes it can be a little bit too much, but I think just a little bit of eyeshadow under there just gives it a really nice, beautiful balance. So, and that's how simple it can be. You know, really simple. One eyeshadow, blending brush is important, and if you're going to do the liner, then an eyelining brush. So I think you know the most important things about this is that um, you don't use too dark colour if you're struggling um, and you want something softer. So do that. Make sure that you're using great quality brushes, um, otherwise you'll be in trouble to start with. It's a little like trying to paint a painting with a, you know, a cheap brush, you know, or your fingers, you know. Um, and then just, you know, sit there and have a little play. Spend a little bit of time on it. Once you get it, it'll take you seconds. So the smoky eye is not just for Caucasians. Asians can wear it too. For well, about 30 years I thought that I could never touch the smoky eye because I'm Asian. But I guess now that we know, as long as we have a good blending brush, then you can paint anything you like. Cecilia, later!